yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and next step let us go and create our go router over here so for that let's go to the uh, core folder over here and in the core folder we'll create a new folder over here and that will be of the let's say a uh, route over here and inside this route let's create some of the files that we require one will be of the uh, go let's say a go router uh, i guess let's say a go underscore rout router provider dot the uh, dot file and i guess that should be fine and also we will require the another file let's have that file name as the uh, route or the rout route name over here and the dot file so in the uh, so let's go and create the go router provider first of all so here we'll require a class and that class will be of the let's say go rout router p-r-o-v-i the go router provider itself and once we have this class what we'll do is we'll go and create a function that will return us the uh, go go route so go and that will be of our r-o-u-t a go router and let's say uh, go router itself or go router itself and here we need to return the go router so from here let's return the uh, go router router and let's import that go router so i guess we can import that i guess uh, we can't find that so let's import it manually so let's go on to the top and import it and that will be of the uh go router right so go router go router go okay it should be this one let's import that and once we have uh that so let's go down over here and we need to pass in some of the uh parameters over here and also for that we'll require some of the global key so let's go and create the uh, global key over here so a final and that will be of the uh, global key and the um, type will be of the navi uh, navi and gator state and then uh, that will be of the root I guess that should be of the root N A V I G A T O R navigator key. I guess that should be fine. Will be of the uh, global G L uh, G L O global key over here, and I guess that should be fine over there. And once we have that, let's go and also add in the uh, debug label. This will be of the root and we will require a more, one more that will be of the uh, cell navigator so it should be of a s h e l l cell and uh, then let's go and set this one as the cell over here sorry this one should be not the r so cell navigator key not the curse it should be key over here spelling mistake so once we have uh, both of these uh, the global key over here and I'm making it as a private to this particular file and once we have that let's go and create our uh, go router so first of all let's provide the um, navigator key and that will be of this one will be of the root navigator key and uh, then we'll have the initial uh, location let's define the initial location of the slice over here and uh, then once we have initial location we require the routes over here and this routes it takes the best routes over here so if you take a look it is the list of the best route so over here let's go and currently we don't have any top level route so we'll just have a button navigation so for that we'll be using a cell route so uh s h e cell route and with the cell route let's add in the uh, navigator key that will be of the underscore the cell route navigator key and uh, then we'll require the uh, builder over here so builder and that builder will pass in the context 
right we require the context over here sorry uh, let's go and add in that the I need to add in the uh, context over here and then I require the uh, state STAT state and then the child over CHILD child and once we have all of this let's go and generate the written from here written type will be of our uh, dashboard so let's go to the let's import that the SSPUID dashboard screen over here and once we have the written type we need to pass in the child over here and currently we don't have that child so let's just pass in the first of all the state and then uh, sorry now the state it should be of the key that we have and that's let's define a state dot the uh, page key so it will give us a unique page key for that dashboard and let's go to our dashboard over here and let's go to the ui and if you go to the dashboard screen currently we are returning a column so we need to return a child over here so let's go and create a final that will be of a widget over here and widg it widget and that will be of the uh, let's say a child over here and let's have this one over here as a, a required field uh, a re required and uh, this dot the uh, child and here we can pass in that child so let's pass in the child this is how the uh, cell route works we need to pass in the child and now i can go to go router provider and i can pass in that particular uh, child as the child that we have over here so that should give us the cell route over here and now i need to create all of the sub routes for this particular cell route so let's go and create the uh, route over here routes and this routes uh, takes the list of the routes right and go route over here and with this go route i need the path first of all so let's let's arrange this one properly and that will be of the uh, i need a path and then this will be of the uh, home path and once we have that let's have the name currently we don't have a name so let's go to the route name over here and let's create the route name we need to create some of the const uh, variables so const of the string and this will be of the let's say a uh, home root route home our route r o u t route which is of equals to the let's say uh home itself and then, then let's have the another one that will be of the currently we just need a two right so that will be of our as it is setting route and let's go and say this is of the uh setting over here and i guess uh that should be the one that we require and let's go back over here and let's pass in the uh, home route over here home route and let's go and create the uh, page builder over here and that should be fine and from here we will return the uh, i'll return the no transition if you require emanation then uh, you can remove this so let's say uh return from here the uh, no transition page and in case if you require uh, emanation then you can just provide it over here and if i don't require emanation so i'm just removing that as a no transition page over there and here i can return uh, my to do screen so this is my home screen currently all right and uh, that should be fine and let's just pass in the uh and it i can pass in the uh key over here that will be of a state dot the page key that we have and i guess that should be fine once we have that and uh, again uh, i require another one which is of the setting right so let's go and i guess i can copy the whole thing from here just copy it and let's go down over here and below it let's paste it over here and uh, i guess that should be over here I have some error so let us try to fix what is the error that we are getting over here 
and i need to close it over here yeah and i need to close it over here and once we have that uh, let's say this each of the setting screen that we have and i guess that should be fun and we need to replace this one with the uh, slash the set and the setting and uh, this one will be of a setting a route that we have and i guess that should be fun. so one once we have this go router ready all right so now we have a go router class and uh, there is a function to get the go route and uh, then we have the inside the go route we have the cell route so this is for the button navigation so we will uh, provide a root navigator key and the uh, cell navigator key this will be really helpful later you want to navigate you want to come out of the cell route and go back to the top route so it, it's really it will be helpful for you and it's not required but it's good to pass in so if, if you require it later and then we have a go route over here uh, one is of the home route and another one is the setting route so i guess our go router is ready or what we need to do is we can go to our let's go down over here to the uh, main file and currently we need to clear this out so let's create a new file over here so in the leaf file i'll create a new file and let us define this one as the uh, main we get over here dot the dot file and in the uh, main we get uh, let's go and grab this one from here so let's just copy this one i'll just copy this class i'll just cut this class and i'll just remove rest of the code from here and let's go back to the main that the widget over here and let's just paste it over here and let's import the uh, material package first of all so let's import the uh, material package and let's rename this one to the uh, something different so this is not the my app now i'll define this one as the uh, main uh, WIDG. main widget or main app uh, that's up to you i'll just keep it as a main widget over here and now we have the material app over here and uh, let's go back over here and now this should be of the uh, my main uh, main widget over here let's call this one and import that one over here and let's go to the uh, main widget over here and let's import the color schema and uh, currently we don't have this so let's remove this one now we don't require this uh, we need to pass in the uh, go router over here so how we can pass in the go router is uh, let's pass in the router over here and uh, with this i can pass in the uh, route config and route config we need to pass in the router go router and uh, currently we are not doing any dependency injection uh, or uh, the get it we haven't set it up so let's just create it manually over here and for that i'll just say a final route route and that will be of equals to the uh, go router uh, provider that we have right and go router provider and then once we have this go router provider let's go down over here go router provider dot i can call the uh, go router function to get the that particular go router over there so this should not be necessary once you have the uh, get it uh, ready but currently we don't have so we have to manually initialize over here the go router provider for us once the go router is uh, set up over here let's go back to our uh, features that we have and we'll go to the dashboard and let's go to the ui and the uh, button navigation over here and let's go down over here now we need to navigate over here on the case one what we can do over here is we need to call the go router over here dot the of context and i guess we need to import this one let us import the go router and the of the uh, context that we have dot and i need to let's say i need to go to a specific location and that will be of the uh, home location for the the home location and we need to do the same thing for our the uh, index one and let us try to uh, run our application and let us try to see if it is working
so let's go back to the uh, our device over here and uh, let us try to uh, navigate over there and uh, sorry it should not be this one we need to provide a forward slash over here and let's try to rebuild it and let's try to launch our application over here and let's try to navigate so currently we are in the home and let's try to go to the setting now you can see we get a setting over here and we get a to do over here so now we are able to navigate between the uh, home screen and the setting screen and our bottom navigation is working perfectly fine so i guess that's all and we have configured the go router and um, let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day